Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Belmont, California, where the frauder known as Alcor Accountability ends up getting himself trespassed from the local library. Well, or library, as it's properly called. So at any rate, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. How you guys doing? Out here in the city of Boma, doing a first time I'm out on the library here. Make sure everyone respects everyone's rights, that they're doing a great service to the community. Want to go ahead, maybe get a book on the Constitution or something, you know? But I don't give a fuck. They better respect us. Oh, they better respect us. Oh, what are you going to do? Cry on the shoulders of the officers as they escort you out of the building because of, well, your inability to understand what trespassing law is? Now, this video was well over 40 minutes long, and so I am not going to show you every bit of that because so there's so much dead air in it, so there's going to be a lot of it cut out. Because who wants to see all that? I know I certainly don't. A little longer than a few minutes later. Hi. Nice, nice. Hi, how you doing, ma'am? Good. Just, uh... ask that no faces are taken. You can take photos of the building, but... Oh, no... I'm just showing my people around in the yeah, library. No, yeah, no, unfortunately, due to privacy... But this it, is a public building. But people's privacy. When we take photos, we have to ask for their permission. Well, I mean, their feelings is not... It doesn't trump our rights. Well, I can have you speak with my director if you would like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I can have you take a seat, I'll have someone come and help you. Oh, no. The, she told the frauditor that he can't film anybody inside the limited public forum. Oh my goodness, whatever will he do? Oh yeah, that's right, he's a no good dirty frauditor. He's gonna damn well do it anyway. That is until the cops come by. It's a public building or no? We are a public oh, building, okay. but people inside the building are private, so we, you can film the building. We just ask that you not film patrons. I mean, I'm not filming anybody in particular. I'm just going to get a book. Yeah, if you want to get a book, yeah. that's more than fine. But as I said, if you're taking photos... No, it's not a photo, it's a video. Yeah, photos, yeah. video, yeah. recording. But this we is ask. a public building, no? Yes, the building is public. <laughs> so I understand, two, I, but uh, people's two, feelings doesn't... You know, it's our First it Amendment us. right. It affects us because we have policies. Uh, I, know, I can have you read my policy. Can you just educate them? I'm educating you on our policy. Policy is not law. But to use our facilities, there are policies and standards of behavior that we require, and there are certain laws for other Okay, people's... go get your director, go yeah. get your director. 15 minutes later. I'm just uh, showing my people around doing a tour of the library, you know, what people looking for a book. Oh, my people. Yeah, she told me I couldn't film or something that- Do you have some sort of credentials on you? Huh? Do you have credentials? Yeah, I'm an American. Well, so am I, so <laughs> congratulations. Um, so you can film in the building, but you cannot film people. But nobody's complaining but her. No. But is this not a, pu is this a public building? Or this no? is a public building. Okay, so we have the First mm -hmm. Amendment to free press. We do have uh, the First yeah. Amendment, and yeah. we actually protect the First Amendment, but people also have the right to privacy. No, not in and public. And so their faces don't have to be filmed. Not in public, online. though. There's no expectation of privacy in public. Do you... What are you suggesting, that we have to take this to court or something? Pardon me, ma'am, but I don't think you ever heard of a First Amendment auditor. Uh, they're here to be uh, an annoying pain in your ass and, uh, well, threaten lawsuits, but generally they don't really follow through with it. It's just uh, all talk on their part, for the most part anyway. There are a few exceptions, but they rarely ever go anywhere. Mostly they're a bunch of uh, incompetent... Uh, ex-cons who think that they know everything that's kind of kind of people they are what no so we protect the privacy of our patrons it is in the policy of all libraries it's with the ala code of ethics but just educate them i mean nobody's complaining but her hey frauditor uh 
Uh, let me inform you about something right quick. You do realize there is a Tenth Amendment, right? And the Tenth Amendment grants the states the rights to create laws that are not covered in the Constitution, and that has, tends to have a trickle-down effect, which has resulted in the ability for libraries to create codes of ethics to protect their patrons, as you see here from the American Library Association, which she mentioned. So if you are unable or unwilling to follow the policies of that particular library, you can and will be trespassed, you moron. I'm not filming nobody in particular, I'm just here to, for a book. It's really important that you don't catch anyone's faces. Okay, if you I mean, film the, if you get if them from public, the back, if you're in public, I mean... If you get them from the back, you know. that's one thing, but not their faces. Well, you're Kelly, the assistant director? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have a card? Huh? Do you have a card? No, no. no. And what are you filming this for? Oh, just, I'm doing a story. I'm doing a documentation on the building. It's a nice building. You said it was for your people. What is that exactly? Just my peeps. Yeah, I'm doing a story. I don't want to give too much information. I think you're like fishing for something. Well, it is rather suspicious for somebody to come in with a video camera who doesn't have a library card and acts the way you do. Uh, so yeah, I'm sure she's fishing for information because she wants to make sure you're not a threat to anybody in that library. But I guess that kind of concept is well above the head of you frauditors anyway because you believe that you're above the law and nobody can touch you. <laughs> you don't want to give information, but I have to give information. Well, I mean, you're, this is a, you're a public official. I mean, you said I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm definitely not an official. No. You, do you, um, you no. don't work for the city? No. Oh, who do you work for? I work for the library. We're a, and and who owns the library? The Board of Trustees, which reports to the county. Right, so the, the state owns it. We're a special district. Mm -hmm. Right, right. So it's a public building. It is a public building. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Mm-hmm. Okay. Does it say that you can record in any public building? And you yeah. Can record anyone? Yeah. Where does it say that? It's our First Amendment to the Constitution. Where does it say in the First Amendment that you can record people in any public space? Who said I can? Where does it say you can? What? When they wrote the First Amendment. They well, you're telling me it's policy. You're telling me it's policy. Privacy is policy. Okay, but that's not the law. If I can film the outside. The right to privacy is not the law. Ma'am, when you're in public, there's no expectation of privacy. If you don't want to be filmed, you got to close the blinds. When you're in public, there's no expectation of privacy. Yeah, you don't know that? I could film you or anything in public? Where does it say that? Where does it say what? That's the law. There's cameras everywhere. You guys are filming me right now. <laughs> we don't have cameras. I'm amazed you don't know We that. don't have cameras in this building. Okay, well, there's cameras on sound. Are you recording me right now? Yeah, yeah. You don't have my consent to show my face. Oh, okay. But I'm telling you I'm allowed to do it. She's really got his number right there. Now, they go on like this for several more minutes. Uh, so let's go ahead and catch the tail end of this, and then we'll move on to when he is trespassed from the building. What do you mean? What is happening right now? Like you said, I couldn't film. I did. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, so there's California Penal Code 647. Well, you're not kicking me out or anything, right? Um, I would very much like for you to turn off your camera. No, I can't do that, though. You can. Well, I can. <laughs> Where was this here? Not there. Okay. Thank you. All right. Yeah, I don't want to talk to you anymore. Yeah, unless you want to say something. But... Oh, well, that feeling is mutual. Okay. It was nice meeting you, ma'am. Thank you. Many, many minutes later. I was just doing a tour of the library. Okay. Yeah, and then this lady says, well, I'm not going to talk unless you talk to me. Well, I'm more than happy if you want to talk to me. I can talk to you. What's going on? She was just, she was just saying that you were walking around the library and they have a policy here that, um, especially with children, that without their consent, you can't film them, which in the course of you filming your tour. Yeah, that's what I was trying to tell her. I was trying to tell her it's a public building. I came here to get, to get a book, actually. And I'm just doing a tour. I finished my tour. I was about to leave. Oh yeah, you are about to leave. Yeah, when the police show up, you decide that you want to leave now, huh? And part of the issue was that uh, there are children in this building and they don't want children for filmed. Well, throughout the course of this video, you did film some children. So, 
I ended up cutting those parts out, unlike you who didn't even bother to blur faces or anything like that, especially the faces of those children that you uh, showed on your video. So, yeah, I'm sure some parents would be most upset if they saw their child on your video on your channel. Okay. And um, well, if you want to leave, by all means, you can. Yeah. You're free to leave, and we're not going to keep you here. But that's why we're here. But she's telling me that like I can't film myself, and I keep telling her it's our First Amendment rights. You know, this is a library, and they don't they should educate themselves. I got a book on the Constitution. I gave it to her so she could so educate herself. The the issue. Nobody was. complained but her. What's your name, sir? My name's Officer Cruz. Officer Cruz. Yeah. Nobody uh, said anything about her. Okay. Her her concern was based on her policy. Right. The policy yeah. for this library. We had a discussion. Children. Right. We had a, I, I was talking with her, but just hey, tell her to leave. Yeah, I, I was I was trying to tell her that, but she didn't want to listen and okay. you know, there's nothing you can do, you know. Okay. Well, I mean, if you want to leave, by all means. Well, I don't want to leave cuz you guys are here for me. That I would well, that would be were... fleeing from the scene of a crime. So I'd, I want to stick around, you know. Okay. Yeah. If you so choose to stick around. All this, all this for a camera. Wow. <laughs> it's not about the camera. It's about the policies that you were violating, you freaking dumbass. She explained to you that uh, you could take pictures under certain circumstances, uh, such as the uh, architecture of the building or anything like that. But don't take pictures of any of the patrons or even the children. It can't be any more clear than that, you dumbass. But no, you got to make it all about, well, your little persecution complex, right? You're violating my civil rights. Do okay. you understand? Well, let's walk out right now. Yeah, walk out. Okay, let's go. You're not forcing me, are you? They don't want you here anymore. For what? I didn't do anything. I just told you, they said you were violating their policy based on video. But can you children. educate them on the First Amendment and that it's our rights? I'm not here to educate anybody. You're a police officer. I am. All right, let's take this outside. Okay. They're the ones that are creating a disturbance, man. So you just do whatever they tell you? You guys are police. Enforce the law. You guys have to enforce the law, man. What the fuck? Violating rights. You see, they trespassed me. And they did do their due diligence in uh, upholding the law by getting your sorry ass out of the building after they asked you to leave. Hence, you were trespassed. Hence, your sorry ass had to leave the building. So congratulations, dude. You are a freaking moron. Well, for the next few minutes, he uh, stands around outside crying about all this. But I'm not going to subject you to that. I mean, it's over with. He got kicked out of the building. And I can tell you one thing. He was filming children in that uh, building right there. I had to cut so much of this video out. I saw several instances where he did film children. So the guy is an outright liar to begin with. But at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?